Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. So far, my Battlegrounds uh, has been up and down this season. I, I started out with a really good three-match winning streak and followed it by a two-match losing streak. It feels like I just can't get out of, uh, at least right now, Diamond 4. So many players who are just not only better than me, but like significantly better than me. Sometimes you think I chose bad champs or had bad matchups or maybe made some mistakes as far as uh, inputs are concerned, but in this case, it was not that. It was just getting my tail kicked in. And I'm in an alliance where it's great that people care more about uh, Battlegrounds. The problem is I'm only 90 of the uh, Elder's Marks away from maxing. I really think they should up the maximum to at least 10,000. And so if I claim any of these right now, I'll be wasting Elder's Marks. So it's kind of a, a good thing, I guess. But at the same time, you have to wait to claim them or else you're just losing those elders marks and then I have 27,000 points not a lot but we're talking about something that just doesn't have the most incentive for me right now 1500 six star shards is nothing 3000 is still to me nothing you got that six star nexus this is obviously where it gets exciting and ultimately this is the best no-brainer that I have seen. In fact, I think this should be at least the last two milestones for both 275 and 300. But 1,500, 3,000, 4,500, 6,000, 7,500. That is half of a seven star basic crystal at retail price of 15,000. Seven star shards. And so when we think about that from the standpoint of a line message, um, it's important to note that. This is um, this is a start, but it's not the end. I think this this rewards buff is a great start, but I think you need to give at least five thousand Titan Crystal shards and ten thousand Seven Star shards. So double the Titan Crystal shards in the future, and then to get to milestone ten before you get any Seven Star shards to me it feels kind of BS. I would much rather you even take out the six star class based nexus or just move it up. I mean, there's just so many six star shards that are not that impressive or fun. I think it should start with 3,000 six star shards. And then I would say by milestone six, not 10, six, start with the seven star shards. This rewards buff, it's, it's a good start. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be somebody who you know overly complains about things just so people could click on a video that's not a good YouTube uh, strategy not a good youtuber in general but I do want to say that this shouldn't be the end for a year or even six months this feels like it's good real good for throne breaker players and maybe even some paragon but once you reach valiant and a lot more people are reaching valiant thank goodness with the 8.4 uh, now in the game in Act 8 Exploration Rewards in general. This is uh, absolutely something that people should be excited to do. And 7 stars are still not that easy to open. And there are more champions than ever in the 7 star basic crystal. So imagine saving up for weeks to finally open a 7 star. And you get another 20 sigs on Gambit. Or OG Spidey. Or Spider Gwen. Not bad champions. But also not champions that are going to make you really excited to keep playing the game and because there are no seven star nexus crystals that are commonplace right now they're saving those for things like wallet holidays soon to be spring cleaning 2024 and beyond uh this is something that just needs a lot of attention and also something that we need to continue to uh, encourage so youtube this is really a wild time in the game where kabam is trying to get us excited before spring cleaning it's a good start, but at the same time, I'd say it can be buffed in the next six months once again, at least for the top progression, of which a lot of Paragon players are finally able to make it to uh, Valiant without Necropolis exploration rewards.